The idea is to use Flux to generate the image, since Flux follows prompts very well and creates text well, too. Then use this image as input to ControlNet. In this case, I will use Promax, which is an all-in-one model. It supports 12 controls plus 5 advanced editing, then uses an SDXL model combined with IP adapter to transfer the image style generated by Flux. A few notes. Please proceed to update ComfyUI to the latest version. In this workflow, I use four custom nodes, IP Adapter Plus, RG3, KJ nodes, and AnyLine. You can skip RG3 and KJ nodes if your machine doesn't have these two nodes installed. If you haven't installed the Flux model, please refer to the instructions in the ComfyUI examples repository on GitHub. I have attached links to the resources and workflow used in this video in the description section. First, we will need a workflow to create images using Flux. I will obtain this workflow from Comfy UI examples. I will try using it with the Flux Schnell version first. Just drag and drop the images into Comfy UI. You can read more instructions in this note if you encounter problems running the workflow. Um, since my machine only has 12 gigabytes VRAM, I chose to use FP8 for clip. I will try this workflow starting with creating a background image of Black Forest Labs. I will ask AI to describe this image for me, then copy the prompt. This is also to test Flux's ability to create a similar image based on a prompt provided by an AI LLM. Schnell version runs well with just four steps. Let's run the first test with Flux Schnell. This time, the result with Schnell was not what I expected. So I will try the dev version. We also need to increase the number of steps when switching to the dev version. The results this time with the dev version are quite good. This is the outcome I expected. Next, I will create a basic image generation workflow, starting with the the heart sampler and the necessary inputs and outputs for this node, the brain model and the text image translator, clip. We'll use the image size from the Flux workflow node to ensure the dimensions match. We'll also include the VAE image decoder. Now I'll add Control Net using the Sincere Union model, also known as Pro Max. If you're curious why the file name of the Union model includes Krita, it's because I frequently use the Krita software for in-painting tasks. It's very effective and convenient, especially for in-painting. If you want to learn more about it, you can search with the keyword Krita AI Diffusion. Or if you'd like me to create a tutorial video on how to use Krita AI Diffusion, please let me know in the comments. For the task of pre-processing images for ControlNet, the AnyLine node will be used. The image created by Flux will serve as the input for ControlNet. Next, to change the style of the image, the IP Adapter Advanced node is utilized. More information about IP Adapter can be found on Mateo's YouTube channel. He is the creator of the IP Adapter node used in Comfy UI. When dragging and dropping the connectors, you only need to drag and drop them into the area of the node. There's no need to drop it precisely on the connection point. An illustration style image serves as the reference for the style. When selecting an image to reference a style, we should choose an image with content similar to the image needing a style transfer. This helps the model easily understand how to transfer the style appropriately, and we can also more easily predict the generated results. For example, in this case, if the image needing a style transfer has characters as the main subject, then the reference style image should also feature characters rather than abstract images 
objects, or landscapes. Of course, we can use those types of images, but the results are often harder to predict. I use the albedo model in this case, but you can use a different model. There are several parameters we need to adjust to control the output, such as the strength of control net, the strength of IP adapter, and the content in the prompt. Adjusting these values depends on how we want the generated image to look. It also depends on the reference style image and the result after the AnyLine node performs pre-processing. The strength of control net typically ranges from 0.3 to 0.8. The strength of IP adapter usually ranges from 0.6 to 0.85, as we need to leave room for the prompt to have an impact. Since the desired image style differs from the style in the Flux workflow prompt, I need to revise the prompt and remove words that may conflict with the illustration style. I added a negative prompt that can be commonly used, preset in my settings. I will add a node to compare the original image with the image that has been style transferred. You can use the set node and get node if you don't want to connect with a long connector. Now let's run it. I forgot to set the noise seed to fixed mode for the image generated earlier, so Flux created a different image. In this run, I set the noise seed to fixed mode. I preferred the image from the previous run, but that's okay. Let's see how the style transfer result of this image looks. This is the result image of the preprocessing. AnyLine is a control net line preprocessor that extracts edges, details, and text from images. We can input images to obtain line drawings with clear edges and detailed text, then use them as input for control net. This means we can also edit the results of this image, such as adding or removing lines to achieve the desired outcome. If editing is necessary, it is more convenient to do so in image editing software. I will keep this image unchanged without making any edits. The result in the output image has a style change similar to the reference image, but it looks like the tops of Christmas trees are trying to have eyes. I will try adding face to the negative prompt and increase the weight to 1.2. Let's try again. Oh, okay. The tops of the Christmas trees still seem to want eyes. But I don't. Let's take a look at the reference image and the result. We can guess that the background color in the reference image affects the background color of the result image. The purple cloak of this character influences the suit color in the result image. Perhaps the green from the tops of the Christmas trees comes from the head of this rooster, and maybe the tops of these trees want to take the eyes of this rooster and this creature. I will try to enhance the influence of the line drawings to make the result more precise, and when testing adjustment parameters, the noise value should be fixed. Let's try again. Okay. The result seems better, more closely following the original image when increasing the strength value of control net. However, I still prefer the image that Flux created earlier, so I will try to transfer the style to that image.
Yes. This is the result I was hoping for. I want to try removing the positive prompt to see how the result will turn out. Oh, he wants his eyes. Okay. I will remove face here. Great. Looks cool. Trying a different image style. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Our next video on Laura training for Flux will be exciting. Any suggestions? Leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching.